I'm going to show you how to use some basic statistics functions on the Casio FX82AU. The first thing we need to do is put the calculator into statistics mode. To do that we go up to the mode button, press mode and we'll see that on the screen there are three modes that we can choose from. The one we're interested in is stat or the number 2 so we press 2. Now because we're only dealing with data of one variable which is this one here we choose number 1. Now you'll notice that what's come up here is one column. It's our score column which has an X. X always stands for score in statistics and that's okay, but generally in statistics, at least in years 9 and 10, we generally have a score column and a frequency column. Now this calculator has the capacity to add a frequency column, so that's what we're going to do. To do that, what we need to do is we press Shift, Setup, and then we press the Down button and then you can see on the screen now there is stat and we press number three and that's asking us do we want a frequency column and yes we do so we choose number one and you can see that we've got our two columns uh, our score column X and our frequency column so I'm just going to enter in say three numbers or three scores as our data so I'll enter into in the number uh, 26 equals and I'll enter in the number 27 equals and finally 31 equals. Now we've only entered in three scores and you'll notice in the frequency column there's the number one which is just telling us we've put in 126, 127 and 131. But when we have a frequency column here, that tells us or gives us the opportunity to put in more than, than one score of 26. So let's assume that we had more than one score of 26. Let's say we had five scores of 26. What we do is we move the cursor over to the frequency column and let's say we put in five scores. So five equals and we might have had six scores of 27 so we press 6 equals and let's say I don't know 7 scores of 31 so we go 7 equals now just out of interest you'll notice that we put in 5, 6 and 7 that tells us that the total number of scores that we've got are 5 plus 6 which is 11 plus 7 which is 18 so we've got 18 scores and there are only three, three of them 26, 27 and 31 now we're going to use this calculator to find out the average score or the mean to do that what we're going to do is we press all clear then we press shift and then we go down to this button down here which has stat written above the number 1. So we press that and it gives us a screen which gives us some pretty useful information. But the information that we're going to be mainly concerned with uh, for this exercise is the number 4 which stands for variables. So we press number 4. Now you'll notice that there's a number of variations or variables that we can look at there's number one which stands for the number of scores and the other one that we're going to be interested in is number two which is X bar which stands for the average or the mean so we're going to find the mean so we press two and then we press equals so the mean of the scores that we put in was 28.3 rounded to one decimal place Another thing that we can do if we're interested, if we not, if we want to check how many scores we put in, because sometimes we're not sure and that is a good way of checking that we've put the right data in, we press shift 
stat again and then we press 4 again and then we ch press number 1 and then we press equals that tells us that we put in 18 scores and that's what we wanted to know now to get out of statistics mode all we do very simply mode number one because it's computation number one and we're back to where we were before I hope you found this helpful